uh, one of my professors was uh, Ralph Bunch. Uh, he was excellent, too, in, in political science. Uh, he was there for a short while. Eric Williams was a, a wonderful professor there. Elaine Locke was a professor, of course, a, a philosopher. We were always told that no matter what, that uh, when you leave here, you'll be able to compete anywhere in the world. After graduation, we were supposed to go into the Army right away, medical school. The Armed Forces had no desire at that time to have uh, medical officers who were Negroes. And so we discharged from the Army, which allowed me to continue on my graduate work. I was very happy. I met my wife uh, in Chicago. I was uh, at Howard University. I was uh, in my uh, internship. I remembered seeing her, <laughs> and I called up. And so I started dating her. She was in, in college, and eventually we got married uh, right after she graduated from Sarah Lawrence in 1950. My wife and I thought that we're not very happy to living under segregated conditions. And my wife and I said, and I said, well, it would be nice to travel. And we decided to leave the United States. And then at that time, it was during the uh, McCarthy era too. It was not very pleasant. And uh, so uh, I happened to be at a meeting in Washington, D.C., uh, the International Geographic Pathology. And I met a friend of mine who had been at Armed Forces Institute of Pathology, he was head of geographic pathology. He said, what I, I heard about an excellent place in Iran. There's a new hospital that's being built, and they want Americans and Iranians to open the hospital. In 1955, we arrived in Iran, and yeah. it's the best thing that ever happened because that is my work in Iran and research I did there was eventually was the reason why I was invited to at the University of Chicago. Uh, Dr. Alving, who was the initi who initiated the studies on this enzyme deficiency that we were studying in Iran, and I remembered what he said. He said. Uh, now, Dr. Bowman, when you come to Chicago, said, I'd like you to, to see me, you know, talk to me and look me up. And so I called him up. He said, oh, oh I remember. And he, he said, come over, I want to I I I see you. So we stopped chatting and chatting and chatting. And then the next day he said, you know what? He said, uh, he said we'd like to invite you to be on the faculty of the University of Chicago. And then and I started doing population studies out of this unit because we were studying populations. And we uh, went to Mexico, and I took my wife and daughter with me, and to Ghana and Nigeria and Ethiopia, Uganda, and doing work on. And these were on uh, research grants, population studies. I began to do that. The best thing I ever did in my life was to marry. What, my wife, Barbara. The next thing, my daughter, Valerie Jarrett. And we were responsible indirectly for our granddaughter. And I think as far as I'm concerned, that that's the best legacy I can leave or have left. I can think, can think of discoveries and things like that, but they come and go and what have you. But I think that's the most important thing, our family.